Hi again, and I just have a quick video here that I want to share with you about adding negative keywords to your shopping campaigns. Um, a lot of people don't do this because you don't target shopping campaigns with keywords. They tend not to think that you can add negative keywords, but it's very important that you check for the search terms you're showing up for um, and add ones that aren't relevant so that it's, it can potentially save you a lot of money and help improve the performance. So I'm going to dive into the, um, into the interface now and I'm going to show you where to go to add these to your accounts. So inside the editor, you need to click on your shopping campaigns on the left here and then you'll see keywords as a, sec as a, a category here. Now, obviously, it's a shopping campaign, so you don't have like positive keywords. You just have negative keywords and search terms. So click on the search terms tab. And I have added a filter here because I only want to see, I'm looking for bad search terms. So I only want to see search terms that have conversions less than one. Okay. Um, I'm looking at the last 30 days, a week, 30 days, however big your account is. You might want to do it every week or maybe every month. I would advise that you sort by the number of impressions so that the highest impression searches are at the top. <clears throat> and then start looking for um, keywords that, or search terms rather, that are not relevant to your business. Now this account, this gets done regularly on this account, so we're probably not going to find too many, um, too many searches here. But just <clears throat> for example, if I, for example, if I didn't do Copic markers, okay, I can see that it's cropping up quite a few times. Now we do do cop Copic markers, but I'm just using it as an example. So I would just highlight the search term and say, for example, we didn't do fabric pens and we didn't do glass pens. There we go. All right. So you highlight the ones that you think are irrelevant. You go up and you click the add as negative keyword. Now, I would recommend that you either add the negative keywords to the campaign. If you've just got one campaign, that's fine. If you've got multiple campaigns and you want to stop them showing up across all campaigns, you'll need to create or use a negative keyword list. I'm just going to show you here as a, I'm not going to add these here, but I do it as, an, as a, at the campaign level. Um, <clears throat> and this is where you need to look and say, I just want to not show up for Copic because we don't do that brand. We don't do fabric pens, so I'll just block fabric um, because there's various multiple versions of that search you want to be able to block as many as possible and I'd say let's block glass okay and then you hit I'm not going to hit save now because I don't want to block any of these you hit save and then those get added as negative keywords onto your campaign depending on how big your account is you'll either need to do that maybe weekly or monthly but um, the first time you do it if you've not done it before you might find a lot of searches there that are irrelevant and are wasting a lot of money so I would highly recommend that you do this now and make sure that you do it on a regular basis moving forward. So I hope that helps and um, let me know if you have any questions.